Hi guys, welcome back to our channel one more time. Today's a fun and exciting video for me at least to do because in one month from this month, I will be graduating high school. Now I know it's not college, but I'll be graduating high school. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about how this year of school went and my last year of school went, what my goals are maybe for the future, what I'm planning to do, and also, how I got through it and I'll give you guys some advice maybe if you're a teen parent and you're wondering how can how the heck can I get through this in the middle of having a kid in the middle of trying to get a relationship to work I totally understand you Here's some tips from me to you um, so that you can keep going and get it accomplished so if you guys would like to watch this video and hear about this stuff then please keep watching thank you guys okay, so I Honestly, um, didn't think I was going to get through this year of school. I felt like I, I'm the way I was in school was pretty bad, you guys. I wasn't like the best student ever. I feel like if I actually spent time and put time into school, I would be a good student. But I feel like school, school was just not for me. I was a rebel kind of kid slash girl. I got suspended in like I believe like the third grade because um, I bit a kid who was bullying my friend and I got to suspended because he was bullying my friend. I remember telling the principal, I'm like, well, he called my friend a potato and um, he was just, she was, she was a darker skin tone. She was still a human being and he was making fun of her for being a darker skin tone. And I was just like, and he was calling her potato. He's like, you look like a potato, like a burnt potato. And I got so mad and I was like in the third grade, I was like, why are you even like talking to her if you don't? You know, you don't like her skin color, you don't like her. I bit him, and I felt like the whole world was just against me after I got into high school. Like, I felt like, oh my gosh, like, even before high school, my parents separated whenever I was about 11 years old. It was tough for me, but also going through the years of abuse was also tough for me. So, I felt like I was just, I was just starting to get to know myself and who I was. So it was definitely hard for me to go through school. I felt like everyone hated me. I felt like everyone judged me. I felt like I wasn't normal. When I got pregnant at the age of 13, I wasn't even in high school, guys. I think I had Anthony and I missed like two months of school um, because I was just getting into high school. And I had Anthony and I remember whenever I had Anthony, I was like, I felt good. Like, okay, this is great. Like. I had my kid and um, AJ and I were still together. We were kind of like working out. We had our problems. So I was like parenting, being a parent. I wasn't doing so good in school. I remember I just felt like a teenager. Like I was better than I was before. Like I was I, I was a lot better. But I just did, I wasn't, I didn't have any motivation for school. I felt like being a mom was so overwhelming to me. But I loved it at the same time. Um, like taking care of Anthony, staying up at night. I had like a two month old whenever I went to school. And then I had homework and stuff like that. that I, and so it was just exhausting for me. I kind of just like started giving up on school. I moved on. Um, I think in my junior year, I moved to Washington with AJ and his family. And I started school there. And that's, um, I think before, yeah, before I started school. School, I found out that I was pregnant of Aaliyah with Aaliyah and that hit me so hard you guys like her, my pregnancy with her was so difficult I feel like I was just mentally in a very bad 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 spot and I remember going to school and just dreading I, I honestly feel like I was just in a deep deep depression because my life just started to fall apart in Washington um, and it's so funny because I would tell people about this now and they're like well you look so happy and I'm like it's crazy how we make ourselves look happy and I feel like that's why I want to be so real and raw with you guys because I spent a year or two just making my life seem so happy and everyone that I talked to I'm like they're like oh you seem so happy like your videos you seem so happy your pictures that you posted on Instagram and Facebook you seem so happy and I feel like it was such a lie I was not happy I was really in a deep deep spot but just to get myself kind of like out of that deep spot just a tiny bit, I would make my life seem good. In reality, it was just crap, total crap. So with that, I went half a year or half of like a semester, I think, of the school year um, in school. Like I would go to school and I would study, except my my motivation was like out. Like there was not even a little spark there. Um, I felt like, um, I don't know, I just... I was just in a deep, deep hole. If you've ever gone through depression or something like that, I was just in this deep, deep hole. I didn't. I, it's. 
I love Aaliyah, you guys. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love her to death. She's completely changed my life. I feel like I didn't want another kid. I wasn't ready for this kid. I felt like I wanted to wait, like, five to ten years to have another kid. And then I got pregnant with Leah. And I was just like, what is my life going to be? And then things just started falling apart with AJ's and I relationship. It was just kind of crumbling, you know, with AJ's and mine, um, with AJ's family. And my relationship was kind of com crumbling, coming coming down. I felt like I was doing everything, like, that I could. But nobody cared. Nobody appreciated. Like, I wasn't good enough for anybody or anything. So I started falling apart. Uh, so moving on, I'm like I did the rest of my school year with online, and I remember that was harder. I thought it was going to be easier, but it was actually harder for me to do it online than I did it in school because I had to find my own motivation. Like there was nobody pushing me, and my motivation was not there. Like literally, there was no motivation there. So. Um, like before I would go to school and I'm like I have to go to school like I have to do this like I have to get up and I have to go and I you know, have to put on this front like that I'm okay and that everything's gonna be okay but staying home all the time and doing it on your own and going to like going on like going to school once a week was definitely harder for me but I got through it and then I remember it was like a quarter that I did online and then a quarter I didn't do online I think it was because I had Leah but I'm not too sure you guys I'm not too sure April, May, I think so. I think it's because I had Aaliyah and everything just started, uh, it was just a lot harder at that point. So I had Aaliyah and um, my life kind of got better. I think it, she made me realize, having a daughter made me realize that I didn't want anybody or anyone to treat my daughter the way she, the way I was being treated. So I was like, I need to get out of the situation. She really just changed my perspective of life. And I decided to move back to Missouri with my mother. And um, I remember f I was debating or not, like, whether to go to school or not. But I honestly felt like my daughter was more important than school because I was feeding her. It was just hard to get a babysitter. She was a really, 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 really fuzzy baby. She was, really, really, she was just a really grumpy baby all in all. Um, so if I left her with a babysitter, with my mom, with my sister, she would constantly cry. All she wanted was me. And Anthony was the same way. I felt like they were just kind of traumatized of the like the movement like moving from Washington to here and like seeing what they saw and it was just kind of like they were just traumatized it wasn't like anything horrible you guys trust me it wasn't like bad but it was like you know arguments here and there so um so after that um I moved back and I missed my last year of school I could have gone back but I felt like being with my kids and loving them for that year was very, very important to them and very important to me. So I told myself and I told my mom, I was like, I'm not going to go to school this year because I just need to take care of my kids. So that's what I did. I did, I just took care of them and I loved them and I, you know, but throughout this time, I was also letting them go. Um, like I've made a video over this, so I'll leave it linked down below. Throughout this time, I was letting them like, they were very, 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 very attached to me. Um, and throughout this time, I would leave them with my mom every once in a while. For a little bit, I didn't do that. But after a while, I'm like, well, Lester, you're going to have to start working. You're going to have to start going to school. You're going to have to start doing your own things. You're going to have to start, you know, you're going crazy. You're going to need a little time to yourself. Just, you know, let's take it step by step. And so that's what I started doing. It, doing. And so if you're having trouble with this, ch check out my other video that I talked more about um, this whole situation. But I slowly started leaving them my mom with babysitters, with AJ's family. It just time it came down and I just left them there <laughs> and so they helped me out a lot with that but it was hard it was a hard process I ended up going to school this year which was 2016 and I'm gonna be a super senior if that's what you guys consider I'll just be late I'm gonna graduate a year later than I should have and um, so this year let's talk about this year this year um, I was in a program that lets you get your diploma in a GED form and then while you're in here you're able to slowly get out of school you know people who are in these programs are usually because they don't like going to school or because they have kids or because they're just trying to graduate early whatever the reason is you just want to get out of school early so they allow you to graduate early I graduated I believe <laughs> in December, like the beginning stages of December, like, or I, I'm honestly, I don't remember when I graduated, but I know it was somewhere in Dece December or November. Was it November? I think it was, okay, it was somewhere around there, November, December. I don't quite remember when I graduated, but I remember I was just so happy to be out of school. But um, 
I definitely had to keep myself motivated. I had to drag my butt out of bed every morning. Um, and my uncle was taking care of them for, he took care of them for a while. Um, and I'm so thankful for that. He took care of them. And um, it's so hard to go to school. It's so hard to um, get your stuff done whenever you don't have people to help you. And I feel like that's one of the, one of the main reasons why I struggled so much in Washington because I felt like I was so alone. I felt like I didn't I didn't have anybody to help me and so I felt like that's why I was so stressed out in Washington. But coming here I had my uncle and then I had this lady from church who helped me and then AJ's parents moved down so they were able to help me a lot and so I was able to finish it. So then I finished in November and December and I was able to take all these months off um, a school and you know spend it with my kids and now I'm graduating next month so that was just kind of the rundown of my high school years and I know definitely whether you get pregnant at the age of 15 or 14 if you get pregnant at the age of 17 18 graduating high school and you think that people are you know you're not gonna graduate um, I think I'm gonna get emotional talking about this I remember the way I felt the way I felt last year because so many people were like well aren't you supposed to graduate I'm like yeah I am but you know I don't I'm not gonna graduate I remember the feeling that some people the the things some people would say like oh like but I thought you were gonna graduate I'm like well yeah I thought I was gonna graduate too but you know things happen life happens and I remember just feeling like a failure last year or like two years ago um, of the school year but this year you know I feel so much better even though some people are like hey, like, weren't you supposed to graduate last year? I'm like, yeah, well, I just went back and I finished it. I'm like, at least I finished it. And some people have made me feel great. Some people are not so great about it. But I feel like I understand you as a teen parent. Like, I know where you're at right now. I know the downs and the ups. And especially if you're a teen mom, like, especially if you're a teen mom, I totally understand you, where you're coming from. I know how hard it is, the sleepless nights, trying to get through school, maybe work even. Um, it's super, 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 super hard, you know, wondering about your future, your kid's future, trying to get it all together for them. It's so much stress on such a young person, so I totally understand you, but I want you to know that you can do it. And sometimes we have to go through the highs, or through the lows, through the really, really deep, deep moments of our life to get through to the high moments of our life and I definitely if I have to tell you something it's just take the journey as it is and I'm glad I did that I'm glad I took the journey explored a little and then realized like hey you need to calm down you can't do this on your own Leslie go back home and I know how I I know how hard it can be without any help without any support but I know you can do it like I know whatever it is I know you can do it. There's great people out there. Um, I've met a lot of people who have helped me out with my life. So if you search, you will find. But you have to get yourself out of that state of, I'm not good enough. I'll never be good enough. I'm never going to finish because you deserve it. You deserve it. And honestly, some, sometimes I say, oh, well, it's because of my kids that I graduated. Or it's because of my mom that I graduated. Or it's, it's you know. But in reality, I deserve this. I deserve this. I deserve my diploma. I deserve to do better in life because I am me. I'm a human being and I deserve it. And sometimes we think so low of ourselves because whenever you become a mother, some mothers honestly take on the role of being a mother and it's so hard to think about yourself when you're thinking about maybe the little one or your little ones, whatever it is. You deserve to do what you love. So if that means finishing high school, moving on to college, you can do this on your own. I know I might not. I can say that I didn't do this on my own because I have a wonderful mother. I have wonderful, you know, people around me at this point. But I know a few years back, I didn't have very much support and I felt alone. But I know you can do it. I know there's people out there who are teen moms, teen parents who've done it on their own because their parents say, hey, get the heck out of my house. I don't want a pregnant person in my house because, you know, what are people going to say about me? Get out of my house. So I've met some people actually here where I live. There's um, a few girls that I know where their parents have kicked them out and they've they've succeeded literally they've succeeded and they they're in college they got a good job they're great and they're doing awesome and that's my goal from now 
is to just keep going. To just keep going, whether that be here on YouTube, because I honestly love to do these YouTube videos. Whether that be going to college, going to cosmetology school, doing what I love, you know, learning more about computers and technology, because that's honestly what I love to do. Um, and I mean, I'm not the brightest person in the world, but something that I love to do is technology. Something that gets me happy is, you know, new computers and new phones and stuff like that. So I would love to learn about that. That's it. I'm proud of myself. Um, I'm proud of myself for accomplishing this. I know many people have doubted me and I'm just glad I'm getting it done. Um, but I also know that there's been great people in my life who've honestly just kept me going. Um, because at now, you guys, now the people who've helped me, and if you're one of those people, I just want to say thank you to you. Um, because you guys have made me see, you guys have made me see my worth in this life. You guys have made me um, believe in myself. You guys have helped me just get through life. And I appreciate that. So I just want to tell you that you can do it too. Your life will get better. And I know sometimes we, we get dig ourselves into this hole and we feel like we're not, it's never going to get better. But it will get better. If you asked me <laughs> a few years back if I would have seen myself in this point, at this point I probably would have said no. Because I honestly thought that I wasn't going to be able to graduate. My self-esteem was horrible and very low. Um, but it's gotten better a few years and I know you can do it I know you can do it and it's all up here you guys like I always say it's all in your head it's all in your head your thoughts your mind your prayers your dreams your wishes they're all in here and so we usually people can't see what we're going through it's just all an internal fight you know what I mean and I also have to say God has definitely been a big part in this um, I prayed a lot um, that he would change the person that I was into the person that I am now. And I've, I know a lot of people who know me and they say, oh, let's say you've changed so much. And I, whenever people tell me that, I just want to cry because it's so true. I've changed a lot, a lot, but for the better. I used to be this horrible, rebellious person who just hated the world, who was angry at the world. And I've turned into this person who forgives those who even do the slightest or the biggest things, I forgive them and I move on. And I try to I try to show people their worth. I try to I run for my goals and my dreams. If you would have asked me if I would have been doing YouTube like this, like this, I don't think I've ever would have told you that I would have because even though I'm such I'm so little on YouTube, I'm so thankful for the people that I have here, for the you know the camera that I have, the backgrounds that I have. I'm just so thankful for them because. They're so, I used to not have this, and I'm thankful that I'm, you know, it's getting better. So just keep following your dreams, your goals, um, and I know God has definitely changed me into the person that I am today, and without Him, I wouldn't be strong, um, and I've gone through a lot, but He is my strength. He is the person, He is the one that I always call to <laughs> excuse the change, the sun just went in, but um, He's the one that I always call to my strength my savior he's everything to me and um that's it for this video guys i don't want it to be too long um i know you can do it i'm graduating 2017 Woo -hoo! It, is it may may 2017 yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'm so excited i love you guys don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and i'll talk to you guys later bye